this is gonna be a fun one so um i went into the Giannis tape um expecting like a raw athlete just dunking and shit um because like all the scouting reports at the time were like ah yeah raw dude point guard skills bad competition yada yada um you know maybe upside whatever but like i have no idea how this guy went so low like based on like the prospects i've watched like retroactively without the benefit of hindsight and like there's it's impossible to completely separate myself from hindsight bias um but i'm doing my best here and if you think i'm not doing a good job of that a good job with that please let me know um but i think Giannis was clearly looked like a top three or five prospect in this draft um he was like a really special like large handler like true like six six nine six ten six eleven like pulling off multiple moves, spins, change of directions, and like creating a wide open dunk in the half court. Like obviously like the help is, you know, like a little kid standing around, but like this level of standstill advantage creation is impressive for anyone, let alone a guy with Giannis's physical tools, being able to stop on a dime with a nice like split footwork, um, use like a little hezzy cross to the left and spin back to the right while keeping his dribble and getting into the paint like there's so many little like handling micro skills here with the footwork to the extra dribble to the pace um to where like i don't really get the people calling him raw because like outside of his shot and some like defensive technique stuff like i really don't think that was the case with Giannis, especially given his like general skill set um which is like really a guy who like this is like like a very impressive like immediate change of direction obviously you know the open court is where he's been you know maybe the best player in the league um, over the last couple of years, but so, so adept changing directions with his great speed and great size and great tools. And like, this is not just like a random, like rumbling, bumbling guy dribbling down the floor. Um, again, able, like really, really surprised about how able he was to open up defenses using his change of pace. Um, cause Giannis wasn't like a non shooter. Like he shot like 30 ish percent from three, I think, and was like very willing to take, take jumpers. Um, you know, we're not really going to cover his jumper in this and they don't make a whole other video on his jumper, but really adept at using these hezzies. Um, and again, I'm focusing more on like the advantages created than like the actual buckets. Cause obviously like the help defense was going to be non-existent at this level of competition. Um, so we're taking away what we can take away, but again, we see Giannis like bumping, uh, staying on a balance, um, and hitting like a nice little change of pace, double cross, like so much slow, fast, slow, fast. And then just like an unbelievable finish through contact um, to where like he was already like a pretty good vertical athlete here. Like not just the big dunks, but, like able to get up like in a tight space off of one foot, hang, maintain his balance and finish. Like that takes a lot of core strength and balance. And despite strength obviously being an issue at this point of Giannis's career, um, this was like a very, very impressive thing that he was routinely doing. Again, like so able to like create advantages in unique ways. Uh, with his footwork, we see, like, I don't think I've ever seen a guy, like, split a pick and roll like this with a tight spin. And, you know, it's not the best idea in the world, because if there was a defender right here, he could easily get picked. But uh, he's able to use his long strides to get all the way into the paint um, and end up, you know, creating a pretty decent shot with on, on the kick out, which is just so, so unbelievably impressive. Again, like, there certainly was rawness to his driving game. Um, so where Giannis, like just without the level of strength that he possesses in the NBA when he isn't able to use his handle to to get around guys, which of course he, he is in every possession because he's human. Um, he really struggled. Uh, he would like often settle for these kind of like dinky little one foot floaters um, that generally just like weren't great shots and, and didn't go go in very often. I don't know why they can't like the camera so like um, like condensed here. Um, but it, it, it is what it is. Again, just like not that Giannis level of strength we're, we're used to where like he, when he isn't able to, to, you know, use his handle to turn a guy, he wasn't necessarily able to create an advantage. And I, I do think it's important to note that like even when he wasn't able to create an advantage, he was often making good decisions, which is really important. Because um, like, again, like perceived raw 18 year olds, um, like he was making like consistently good decisions as a team's like primary handler. Um, like wasn't forcing the issue too often, like not a super risky passer, but someone who is like using his handle to, and ball control skills to hold the ball, um, not turn the ball over and find passing windows for his teammates. It was really, really cool to watch. Again, like this is a play where in the league would probably be like a foul or even like a poster. Um, but again, like this intermediate game, uh, never really developed for Giannis, probably just cause like it never really had to. 
um, because Giannis is, was just so able to win with his strength uh, throughout his entire career. Like, it is really interesting to see, like, how Giannis used to win when he couldn't win with his handle um, back then. Because we saw the floater then. Uh, we see him, like, again, like, like, like not a perfect rep here. Uh, we see, like, a many dribble iso into, like, a 10-foot pull-up jumper. Like, this is, like, like it is, like, year, I don't know, like, like, like year, like, nine or eight, whatever, for Giannis. And he's, like, barely doing this or, like, just starting to, like, you know, incorporate this into his game. Uh, with regularity and obviously you know his his you know typical nba offense looks more like this where he can use that change of direction and speed that he still possesses but obviously now combined with like ungodly strength and and just raw power to to, to you know blitz through guys uh, but the foundations were there like the 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 change of speed the fast to slow the ability to use like an in and out cross into a handle there was definitely nothing this advanced um, you know, in the, the Greek League tape. But the fact that he was, you know, pulling off moves like this as, like, an 18-year-old with this level of tools, I think was definitely, certainly, uh, definitely, certainly, I think could have been something to, to predict some handling upside. Like, so flexible for a guy his size. Um, and again, of course, NBA Giannis able to just, like, totally eviscerate guys with his handle and, like, dunk all over players all the time, um, which was, again, like, decently commonplace for Giannis. One thing like I, I do like is there were like obviously burgeoning um, strength based attacks here where he is able to you know combine his handle and his strength like that's what I really liked about Giannis is like he was never just like barreling into guys and throwing the ball away like a lot of young players do who have some plus size or strength like he was always trying to combine his handle and his strength in productive ways like here again Giannis like lowering his shoulder able to move his defender and cross back over into into big space and is able to you know hit a nice kick out as well um this is like really good impressive advantage creation where he's able to get a pretty easy paint touch uh and create an open shot for his teammate uh with relative ease I think like an important thing for scouting someone like Giannis like especially retroactively um is like discerning like the flashes from like what is real and I think from lots of highlight scouting and such. I've gotten pretty decent at this. And, like, I was so impressed by Giannis as a handler on, like, a play-to-play -play basis because no one's going to have a crazy advantage creation possession or even create an advantage every play they, they attack. That's impossible. Even the best players and the best handlers of all time don't do that. But what Giannis was consistently doing was, like, displaying a really, really mature ability to handle pressure, not only with his instincts and his feel, but with his handle. Like, Again, uh, a handling micro skill we've seen repeatedly is that Giannis will keep his dribble alive. Like, he is confident in his ball control. And, like, over, like, the couple games and highlights I watched, like, he really never, like, just lost the ball, uh, which, like, a lot of young handlers do. I was able to see this double team coming, spin backwards, keep his dribble until he can, you know, survey and find an open shot and reset the offense. Again, like like little guards like routinely like pressuring his handle attacking his handle and Giannis was winning like I don't know why this film is, is, is so cut off but I mean you can kind of make out the fact that he like spins back uh beating this handle he's able to keep his dribble alive and and kick it out to a to a guy on the wing which again just like so so impressive um for a guy of this size at this age to be this calm and composed on a play-to-play -play basis like of course there were plays um you know like plays like these where he was just kind of, you know, running into stuff. But even then, he's not losing the ball. Like, he always is under control um, of his own pace, which is, like, not at all what I expected uh, when I dove into this tape. And I hope that's something that you didn't know either, because, like, it wasn't just raw tools. It was, like, real, like, initiator skills that Giannis possessed. And, like, like I, like, I have a hard time thinking, like, of guys who are this large, and this good at standstill advantage creating with their handle. Um, like true six nine, six ten plus guys who as prospects advantage created like this, like are just like I, I can't think of any. Like there was like Durant, um, who obviously created advantages in a different way, like used his handle to to open up his like big space handle, uh, to, you know, create uh, all the advantage he needed to to get off his like ridiculous jumpers. Um, and was able to like use that you know simple left to right cross, his flexibility, his ball control, uh, to open up pain touches as well at times. But like, there just aren't a lot of guys like this. Like, if you go through the list of like six ten plus guys drafted like in history, um, you just aren't seeing guys who create standstill advantages like this. Even the ones who are like really toolsy, and like top picks had you know other avenues to do it. And I think that's like a risky thing when, especially like comparing guys to Giannis and like looking. 
um, at these like handle flashes. Like Chet, um, who is you know a fantastic prospect, is someone who has like been compared to Giannis like quite a bit. Um, you know, partially because of his ability to like dribble in transition and to you know have that big space handling and the transition push, the grab and go. But unlike Giannis, like we saw Giannis being able to like really handle good, to, like to really handle pressure, uh, keep his dribble alive uh, with you know quick explosive moves um, and continue the flow of the offense. Like Chet all season, when you know when he was asked to really like a- operate in a perimeter role and like attack perimeter guys with his handle. There were often times when he lost his balance or his ball control wasn't great. Or you can just see that he's like not nearly as flexible or explosive as someone like Giannis is. And again, I think this is like the stuff with like parsing out flashes versus what is real. Like the flashes were maybe there with Chet, but the real stuff on a play to play basis were not at the level uh, of someone like Giannis. Uh, which again, I think it's just a testament to how like surprisingly awesome of a prospect he was. Um, and that's like, I, I wanted to throw just a couple passing clips in here because the handle and the passing obviously coincide, able to use his handle to get to spots, and he was able to finish the advantages he created with impressive little passes like laydowns like this. Um, just very adept at using his handle, keeping a live dribble, and using that live dribble to find cutters like this. Like, this is an advanced pass. It's like a pretty tight window, a live dribble pass, like very accurate. Like this is this is crazy stuff. Like and and you know indicative of some really impressive coordination skill as well. Um, and this pass doesn't really have anything to do with the handle, but like I just love it, and I thought I would throw it in there just for fun. Like look at the manipulation here. Like Giannis is like staring down this like this wing shooter. You can kind of see him turn his head. Uh, the defense has no idea where the ball is, and he kicks for like a wide open three. Who's off camera, but still. Um, and again, Giannis has turned into someone who can abuse his skill. Uh, this is the wrong clip. This clip's not supposed to be here. Um, I put the wrong clips in, but there was, I was supposed to have a clip of Giannis's uh, passing here, uh, which I'll go get right now because I clearly um, put the wrong clip in there. Um, I actually missed a couple clips. Good for me. Yeah, this was another clip uh, I wanted to include just, just to end it. Um, again, just like the minutia of of his hands, at, like the ability to like fake this dribble, handoff, slow to fast, bursting past guys, um, and getting into the lane like that. Um, and where is the freaking passing clip? Um, it's somewhere in here. I don't know. I can't find it. But point being, you know, Giannis has you know combined all of these skills um, into someone who can pass in transition really well um, and use his live dribble to keep plays alive in the open floor and, and find passes. And as he's grown as a player, has been able to. Uh, become more of a passer in the half court. But yeah, like Giannis was a pretty wild prospect. Um, again, like I said at the top, like I don't think it's possible. Like I think it's physically impossible for me to fully separate um, like my hindsight from what I'm seeing right now as if I was, you know, watching this in 2013 with all the knowledge I have now. But like from everything I can tell, like yes, there were real issues with competition and the shot and some of the defensive technique, but like an 18 year old with this level of on-ball standstill creation, like, they don't come around. Um, and it's, it was really cool to see someone like Giannis actualize that and hit, like, an MVP-level outcome.